evening and welcome to Central News for Thursday the 26th of July. I'm Katrina McKinley. In today's news, Waikato Regional Council has been busy promoting the Biosecurity Awareness Month and creating awareness around the new threat to our Waikato coastlines called Sea Spurge. The Council's Biosecurity Officer Darian Embling says the foreign weed could effectively wipe out all other dune grasses and potentially cause complete erosion of our sand dunes. Recently we've had uh, a plant called Euphorbia, it's called Sea Spurge and that's turned up on the Aotea Harbour and that's come across from Australia, they believe it's floated across and um, that's going to take over our beaches if we're not careful. Claims that the recent Christchurch tsunami sirens test went largely unheard are not new to one Tauranga City Councillor. Councillor Bill Granger is concerned about the council's decision to go ahead with the same electronic sirens as Christchurch and instead wants council to consider the installation of air raid type sirens. A recent report on Christchurch sirens indicated they were not heard by residents during a test. Bill says the sirens he is referring to are based on the old World War II type sirens and those sirens penetrate. It's as simple as that. And not only that, they go the distance. Instead of 60 sirens, 6 or 7 would do it and that's all we need. University of Waikato Masters student Laura Violetti has been awarded a Fulbright scholarship for her studies in California later this year. Laura says she is looking forward to creating new networks in America to help with her work in the Pacific and the effects of climate change there. Um, places like Tuvalu and Kiribati, you're already seeing those changes. Um, Seawater is infiltrating the water tables. Um, in uh, Tokelau there was recently um, armies went over and helped with desalinating the water there because there's just no more access to fresh water. Local Waikato pharmacist and board member of Asthma Waikato Ian McMichael has completed an 800 kilometre bike ride around the region to promote asthma prevention. The ride took Ian six days to complete and he says it was a great success in educating children how to manage their asthma. What was Asthma Waikato has done and that's the whole reason we're having a mascot is it's about training and um, kids learning and e being educated about what are the triggers for asthma. Um, so it's you know, um, exercising, um, eating well, uh, making good lifestyle choices and how to use your medication. So if you happen to be on medication, how best to use that medication to get the best out of it. Time to check out the region's weather. Good news for the weather with the rain having come to an end for the next few days. Both regions are fine with possible morning frosts. Hamilton, you're heading for a high of 13 from 3 and Tauranga, you dip to 5 overnight before getting up to 15 tomorrow. Up next, Kasia talks with the first of many Fulbright scholars. Sue Maroney is in studio talking about the paid parental leave bill. And a University of Waikato PhD student reveals the social effects of child-free couples. Stay tuned and I'll see you back here after the break.